ओम शांति ट्वेंटी अक्टूबर 2022 इंग्लिश मोरली एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन द भारत दैट वाज वेरी वेल्दी हैज नो बिकम पुअर ओनली द फादर मेक्स दिस पुअर भारत वेल्दी वंस अगेन क्वेश्चन हु आर द मोस्ट फॉर्चुनेट ऑफ यू कोप्स एंड कोपिस एंड हाउ आंसर the most fortunate are those who perform the godly dance of knowledge they are the ones who will go to the golden age and dance with the princes and princesses such fortunate children surrender themselves to the father completely at this time and say baba i belong to you nothing is mine you make me into a master of heaven and so why would i not surrender myself to you om shanti the father gives patience to the children o oh, children residents of bharat which children those who are worshippers of the deities they believe that their special beloved gods and goddesses were great deities christians worship christ buddhist worship buddha Jains worship Mahavir they all worship or remember the head of their own religion there are temples to the deities the Shiva temple is also included in that he is incorporeal Brahma Vishnu and Shankar are subtle beings whereas Lakshmi and Narayan Rama and Sita Jagadamba and Jagatpita are corporeal people of the world don't know these things therefore baba says to the worshippers of the deities have patience heaven is now being established bharat was heaven the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan was called heaven it has now been 5000 years since it became the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan the kingdom of sita and rama began 3750 years ago only you mouth born creation of brahma the decoration of the brahmin clan know this because everyone in the world is in darkness they are completely without intellects explain to them that one is your worldly father and the other is the father from beyond this world he is the creator of the new world a father builds a new home the unlimited father is creating a new world the people of bharat have now become corrupt in their religion they sing praise of the deities you are full of all virtues this praise is not for those of other religions none of those other religions sing this praise of their beloved gods and goddesses you will find devotees of the deities in lakshmi and narayan temples you will find the devotees of shri krishna in the krishna temples you know that lakshmi and narayan were the masters of bharat in the golden age that means that the people of bharat were the masters in the golden age bharat was very wealthy and prosperous when there was the original eternal deity religion this is the ancient easy raj yoga and easy knowledge of bharat the deity religion is now old and people have forgotten who established the deity religion baba has explained that you are the brahmins who belong to the confluence age those brahmins of the iron age also say that they belong to the dynasty of prajapita brahma but they don't know when brahma came you are now the practical forms you know that lakshmi and narayan existed and ruled in bharat in the past there have been no human beings more elevated than they were people don't know how many years it has been since the golden age they say that the duration of the golden age is millions of years those who wrote the scriptures have written their own opinions the father is now explaining to you children who were of the original deity religion of bharat they definitely have to come here at the end of the last of 
dear many birds. This clan is that of the people of Bharat, of the deity religion. It isn't the clan of those of the other religion who come later. You have now become Brahmins of the Brahma clan. You are now changing from worshippers to being worthy of worship. You mothers are called the mothers of Bharat who are incarnations of Shakti in brackets power. You would also say that there is the reincarnation of Jagadamba. Shri Baba has taken an incarnation at the confluence age. He has made you his children. You children know that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, who is the father of all souls, is the master of Brahmand. He cannot be called the master of this world. He is the father, but he is not the master. This too is a deep matter. He is the creator and so he should be the master of creation. But Baba says, I don't become the master of the heaven that I establish. I make you children the masters. Everyone in the world says that God is the master of the world. However, he is just the master to create it. He makes you into the masters of heaven. It is the father's duty to make the children higher than himself. The father is the servant. He gives everything to you children and then departs. The father says, I make you worthy. I create a new world and make you the masters of it. And then I retire. You would be called the masters of Brahmand because you are the children of the master of Brahmand. Although you souls live there too, you don't have any organs. When you are in the supreme abode, you are the masters of Brahmand. You then become the masters of the world. You then have to lose your fortune of the kingdom. Neither deities nor Shudras can have this knowledge. Only you Brahmins have this knowledge. Baba is explaining such deep things. He says only you have hero parts. Jagadamba is the goddess of knowledge. She then becomes a princess and the same applies to you. It isn't that only two or four people have their parts there. To claim the kingdom of the world and then to lose it is a game about the people of Bharat. The people of Bharat were the masters of the world. Whereas today they have become bankrupt. There isn't even a kingdom of impure kings anymore. It is now the rule of the people. It is said, religion is might. The Almighty Authority Father is establishing the deity religion. He gives us so much might that we become the masters of the world. There are innumerable religions in Bharat. Those who live in Gujarat say that they are Gujaratis. There was just one religion in the Golden Age. The Father says, I am once again giving you the knowledge of the Gita. You will continue to drink the nectar of knowledge for as long as you live. There is a burden of innumerable birds that has to be removed. They have portrayed a battlefield and put Krishna's name. God says, I enter this chariot and make you stand on the battlefield in order for you to conquer Maya. I also make the children stand there. You know that you will become the conquerors of Maya and then become the masters of heaven. Those people say this to soldiers, etc. There is the difference of day and night. You should go to the temples and do service there. Tell them that only Lakshmi and Narayan were the masters of Bharat. Make slogans such as the people of Bharat were the masters of heaven. You have now lost all your property. In the scriptures they have shown Krishna and the Mahabharat war. People in devotion make spiritual endeavor to attain God. They call out to God for him to come and liberate them from Maya, Ravan. 
There is so much upheaval everywhere. When the war takes place, you won't receive food or clothes, etc. They call Bombay the Queen of India because they don't know about the happiness of heaven. We know all about that and so we continue to dance internally. Knowledge is said to be salvation. Which knowledge? That of the beginning, the middle and the end of the world. Now use your intellects and see how you can explain to others. The deities who were pure have now become impure and so you have to look for them. You will soon find them in temples and they too would become happy. The Jagadamba temple is below, down the mountain. In fact, they should both be together. You know that the daughter of Brahma will become the number one princess. You can tell them the biography of the 84 baths of Jagadamba. You know Shibaba's biography. It isn't that he is in the pebbles and stones. Previously, we too used to think that. Even this one now says, Previously, I used to consider myself to be very elevated. The highest business is that of jewelry. Even higher than that is this business of the imperishable jewels of knowledge. People wear a ring of nine jewels. That too is compared to this. Previously, you didn't know anything. Today the main thing being explained to you is that the Supreme Soul is the master of Brahman and the creator of the world. He doesn't rule the kingdom. He gives us children the kingdom. We have to claim the kingdom and then lose it. You should know how many births you took in the kingdom that you lost and also how many births you take in your own kingdom. What else would you want? Because of being body conscious, human beings are dangling upside down. You have now been put the right way up. When a person dies, his face is turned the other way. Our faces are now towards the supreme abode. We will shed our bodies and go straight there. Acha, The father says, Man mana bhava. By remembering me, you will come to me. To have class outside here in the unlimited is very good. Inside the room Baba feels, it's like the jail of a womb. The unlimited father wants everything unlimited. Such a great master of the unlimited comes and sits in this limit in brackets body in order to serve you. He has to enter an impure body in the impure world. He says, I make you children pure from impure, the masters of heaven, and then I go away. There will now be upheaval. Those who are weak will die just on seeing such things. Some have such a great shock on seeing someone die that they themselves also die. You have to become very strong. It is remembered, happiness for the hunter and death for the prey. We are now becoming worthy of heaven. The father says, the gates open through the war. Now let's go back. The play has now ended. Baba is the spiritual guide. He takes you to the spiritual land. This is why you now have to remember the father so that your final thoughts will lead you to your destination. Some have very short lives here. They experience a lot of punishment in a womb. As soon as the baby is born, he dies and then goes elsewhere to experience further suffering for his actions. The father says, Sweetest children, let your intellects imbibe these jewels of knowledge. Go to the temples and do service. This is called making effort. Don't be afraid. Those who belong to your religion will be struck by an arrow. You should also go to the sannyasis. If you see that they are like stone, they don't bite them. 
in brackets example of a scorpion not stinging a rock you should give it a try by gradually trying you will eventually become successful you haven't yet developed the strength of knowledge and yoga and this is why you haven't yet explained to the sannyasis and kings etc janak prikshit the sannyasis etc all come at the end if you gave them knowledge now their influence would be reduced at that time in brackets when they come later you will say too late baba came to fill your aprons but you didn't come constantly think about how to do service print invitations create new ideas service takes place according to the drama we watch everything as detached observers god speaks to you children the gopis and gopikas god is gopi vallabh the father of the gopis and gopis he is the father all the gopis and gopis are here they will not be there in the golden age this is the godly dance of knowledge you will then go there and dance with the princes and princesses you children are very fortunate simply surrender yourselves baba i belong to you why would i not surrender myself to you you are making me into a master of heaven this is such a great income everyone is to be buried in the graveyard there will be the graveyard in brackets kabristan and then the land of angels in brackets paristhan delhi was paristhan it was land of angels the deities are said to be the angels of paristhan it is now the graveyard acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children extend their love remembrance say good morning namaste and thank you to the spiritual bab dada essence for dharana first point constantly maintain the intoxication that you are becoming the masters of brahmand and of the world you brahmans will then become deities number 2 make your stage strong don't even be afraid of death stay in remembrance of the father imbibe this knowledge and serve others blessing may you finish the game of making excuses and become a master bestower of self respect explanation the children who know how to play the game of making excuses say if it weren't for this it would be like this this one did this or the circumstances were like this now finish this language of making excuses and make this determined promise no matter what happens i definitely have to become equal to the father not that i will only become complete when others give their cooperation instead of talking in this way be a master bestower and give cooperation love and sympathy for this giving is receiving when you have this feeling you will become a master bestower of self respect and have self respect slogan when you have this interest in the consciousness of i and mine you will then be said to have unlimited disinterest om shanti